It is said that Albert Einstein once was asked what the most powerful force in the universe was. And according to the story, Albert Einstein said the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. What an interesting answer. What did he mean, compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe? Well, let's consider this simple example to see if it can help us understand what he meant. If you invest $6.16 in an account paying 12% interest, compounded continuously for 100 years, and that is all you have to leave your children as an inheritance, are they going to be poor or wealthy? What's the final balance that they will receive? Well, we see this phrase compounded continuously. And when we see the interest is compounded continuously, that means it's infinite compounds in a year. We use that equation A equals P e to the rt power. Well, 616 is what we started with in the account, so that's going to be our p, or principal investment. 12%, that is going to be our interest rate, but we have to write it as a decimal, 0.12. And it's going to be there for 100 years, that's our time. Plugging that into our equation, we have A equals P, which is 6.16, times E to the R, which is 0.12, times T, which is 100. And depending on the type of calculator you have, you may be able to enter this all in at once, or as I like to do, do the exponent first to avoid getting into trouble, 6.16E to the 12th power, 0.12 times 100 is 12. And then again, you need to make sure you know your calculator uh, to get the E feature. Quite often, you have to hit the second button or the shift button. Um, it, and then after the shift button or the second button, there's usually a button that says LN, and right above it, you see E with an exponent or something like that. Make sure you know how to use your calculator. And some calculators, again, require you to do the E part first and multiply your answer by 6.16. Other calculators, you can just type in 6.16 times E to the 12th power. And when you do, we find out how much money you have to leave your heirs. One million, two thousand, five hundred sixty nine dollars and fifty two cents. Your six dollars and sixteen cents has grown to over one million dollars over the course of that hundred years. That's quite an inheritance your heirs are going to receive. That's the power of compound interest is the longer you leave an investment or a loan active the interest will continue to compound and continue to grow, getting bigger and bigger until it becomes quite outrageously large. The power of compound interest.